So now we've got the rise of the entertainment industry and information industry outside of religion. What happens when religion tries to compete in the public square? All right, what happens when clergy and rabbis and priests and ministers go on TV? All right, that affects their image, right? The rabbi who's always going on TV, that, uh, that reduces his prestige. He's now competing in an alien outlet. So when you go on TV, you are reduced to the status of that medium, right? The, the rabbi is always getting quoted in the newspapers. He's not usually known as the rabbi's rabbi. He's like selling out. He's like a court Jew. So when you use mass media to try to communicate religiously, it alters your image and the image of your religion. So religion effectively in a secular society has to accept a marginal position in the various communication agencies, which is completely in defiance of its own self-assessment that it is the preeminent source of truth. So when you go on a particular medium, whether it's radio, TV, newspaper, you are reduced to the status of that medium. So religion claims transcendent truth, but then when you're going on grubby mediums like much of radio, TV, press, cinema, it, it kind of marginalizes your claims to transcendent pr truth, right? You're just, you're just another talking head.